Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here looking at the time 10 chance for the 4GT. I realized this account actually didn't have one. I must have missed it when it was a gold key car. Remember, there was actually a legendary cup and evolution cup for this car some time ago. And at that time, I didn't have enough gold keys to get through and get the car. So now we're going to get this car with silver keys, which is great because it's a good car. Uh, so therefore, let's go ahead and see how luck plays out this season. As you all know, I don't use system. I just click the keys and then watch the uh, Donna give me whatever junk she decides to give me. But let's go ahead and see what junk we get this time. And starting off with a two-star car, let's see what it is. Now, generally speaking, um, what I do is I actually strip these as I get them just so I don't have them piling up on me. But... For the purpose of moving along here uh, for the video, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, jump ahead and keep pulling. Um, as you know, what I do is uh, when I actually have to pull these cars, what I try to do is document it. For the past few seasons, I've been lucky because I've had all those cars and I didn't actually have to pull anything. So in those seasons, I'm not particularly worried about it and I just uh, let it go. Ooh, that's a good car, actually. I'm not even sure if I have this. I do. Oh, bummer. I'm going to keep it. I like the color and maybe see if the other one's even built. Um, that's one of the best tier two cars to get as long as you have Mazda Fusions, which now if you have your lead tuners, uh, which means you can get free Mazda Fusions somewhere, I think. One of these gives, uh, this one can randomly give you Mazda Fusions as well. It's actually a pretty good thing. Okay, back to the crates. Let's go ahead and keep going. Um, I got a little sidetrack there. So pull number three, I have enough silver keys to basically pull to loyalty if I want to, not that I would prefer to, but, you know, let's see if I can get something within a reasonable number, or this is going to be one of those pull to loyalty for everything kind of deals. All right, that's a card I'm going to strip for fusions, already got the Boster S, a good car, definitely good for Tempest, and I never complain when I get one because, you know, eventually you need enough to max out a Boxer S for the purpose of Tempest 2. Uh, that's how you get there. Oh, there it is. Number four is a five star. But is it the car? Is it the color I want? Is it gray? That's going to be the question. Let's. Oh, it's red and it's white stripes. Oh, I like it. It looks good. It looks good. Hey, in fact, I think that's the one in the... Let me see, let me see. I, I might be wrong here. Now that I'm asking myself the question, I'm actually not paying attention to the thumbnail before. I think this might be the same color as the one in the thumbnail. And is it? Yes, that's the exact um, color and scheme as in the thumbnail. That's what I was thinking. I was like, wow, I got the thumbnail one for a change. Unbelievable. So four poles, no system. Um, three, two out of... Uh, no, three out of four cars were actually useful. Um, yes, I have the Boxer S, but I never complain pulling one. Yes, I have the Mazda RB, but again, an extra RB, maybe put it up a few levels and strip it for parts and hope for stage six. Nothing bad here. Let's go ahead and finish up a few more pulls because while I'm at it, I might as well see what else I can get. Oh, back to one star. So that might not be so good. Maybe I'm now wasting keys, but you know, when you haven't pulled for a few seasons, um, wasting a few keys isn't going to be much of an issue. Oh, that's a, that's a garbage car right there. So, uh, not, nothing against a Mini Cooper, okay? But unfortunately, that's not a car I would want at this level of play. But um, any car is a good car when you're just starting off. All right, we're back up to two stars. I wonder if it's going to be another four pulls for another five star where it's all going to be garbage from here on. It, it really depends. I mean, sometimes you get like four cars. Oh, this one's okay, but obviously I should have it. Uh, Honda Civic 1.5, never complain about that car either. A good car in tier one. Set it up with trans, nitrous, and tire only. Put it to max uh, Evo, and boom. You got yourself a nice little tier one live racer right there. All right, so that's three more poles of relatively bad cars compared to what I already have. I'm going to give it all the way to loyalty since I'm already this far into it, but uh, I'm just curious what 
what I'm going to get out of this whole entire thing. Because this uh, Ford GT is actually a good car, so I don't mind pulling a few extra if I can and stripping them for parts so I can have better chance of getting a uh, decent amount of uh, stage sixes out of this in the long run. Worst case, I will switch back to using bronze keys. I'm, I'm okay with that too. Uh, good old Huracan. Never complain about that. You can always use more Lamborghini parts. So that's going to be stripped, but it's useful in the sense that I will use it for something. Okay. So one five star out of eight poles. Not the best stat as far as that goes. Another three star. I'm not getting all one stars at least, but I, again, you're not getting a lot of five stars one after the other either. Okay. So that one is pretty much garbage, but for beginners, if you know, you can max this uh, Aston Martin out with uh, the dealership car and it'll actually get you through Tempest 2 without a problem. Fully maxed. Um, all right, what do we got? Four stars. Okay, we're moving up in life. Maybe I'll get a five star before the final loyalty. That'll make three possible five stars or, or not. But let's see what the four star is. Oh, and it is the Lamborghini Urus. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I find a lot of four stars that I get tend to be pretty useless. Although, can't complain. Gonna strip it for parts. 10 out of 15. And we're back to one star. So it moved up to about four stars and it goes, ah, you're done. Back to one star. You get garbage now. We're done giving you the good stuff. Uh, 4C Spider. It's gonna be a strip car, but Alpha 4C Spider actually is quite good in Tempest 2. It's one of those cars that basically, no matter how you tune it, um, you basically run one or two tunes, but fully built with stage sixes, it'll blow through all the Tempests. Up oh, there you go, another five star. So again, two five stars um, so far, and we still got loyalty and a few more poles. So out of 15, I'm doing not too bad so far. Okay, here we go, got a black one, keep car, We'll strip that later. I'll figure out. I think I'm going to keep the red one, but, you know, we'll figure it out later. Uh, let me see what the loyalty color is, too. This way I can really figure out if I want to keep a particular color or not. Okay, three stars. So, not too bad overall. A lot of three, four, two. As long as I don't see nothing but one stars, I don't complain too much. Um, ooh, okay. Not the car I would have looked for, but... You know, can always strip it for parts. And we're getting there. 13 out of 15. Here's pole number 14. And what do we get? One star, right? Yep. Back to one star. I kind of felt that coming. Not that, you know, you could feel a one star and get a five star. You feel a five star and get a two star. Who knows? This is the problem. We all try to anticipate and it doesn't usually come. Up. Wow. Here's the problem with this car. You actually, when you get multiples of this, this is the only one that doesn't tell you that it's, you should strip it. I don't know why, it could be a glitch in the programming, but I know I have that car. You can't tell me that's a unique one. Um, these boss Mustangs are not that unique. But hey, and I leveled up from pulling keys, lovely. Must give me a little bit of RP each time I pull those keys. Okay. And here we go. Let's go ahead and pull number 15. So I spent, what, 750 keys in one shot um, right here. Doesn't hurt my feelings. I've had a few seasons of savings. And it looks like another three star. So that, so two five star cars out of 15 pulls plus the loyalty makes it three five star. It's not too bad. Um, you could do worse. Okay. And in addition, it looks like some of the cars are at least parts strippable and other cars are going to be decent um, period so generally speaking i'm going to strip all the duplicates anyway on this account but at least i have them so you can't complain too much all right let's go ahead and see color Ooh, blue Ooh, ooh, i like blue too that's one of my favorite colors too all right so let's take a quick look at the cars i got out of my 15 poles um Again, I just kind of ran right through them. Uh, didn't bother with any specific trick systems, you name it, whatever. I think ultimately, if you really look at uh, my carpool performance over the span of four years, 
it probably averages out to about the same as what the statistics says it should be. Oh, okay, so this is a dark blue. I like this one. I really like this color. I always like blue. Midnight blue is definitely a nice color. Nothing to look at there. That's a Rocket Bunny uh, GTI. We'll strip that. Strip that, strip that. Here's the black one. Now, some people like black, um, and that would be the color they would go with. Black on um, black. So this is black with black wheels and black interior, it looks like. Mark II Black. Hmm. Mark II Black. Doesn't look bad either, I have to say. It looks pretty good. Black on black. And finally, we have Mr. Red here. This is, this is the, uh, I think, the trim from the thumbnail trim. The thumbnail one with the silver wheels, Mark IV Red. Hmm. I don't know, I'm a little torn between red and blue, uh, and even the black looks good because of the black wheels. Boy, it's a hard decision, isn't it? All right, well, until I start building them, the decision's not that difficult. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start stripping some cars. So I'm not going to put you through that torture, but hey, thanks for joining me for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, Everybody likes to see other people's misery when it comes to pulling keys. So I share my misery with you every time that I have to actually pull the PC car. And again, I've been very lucky. And it looks like the next few seasons is a repeat of the last few seasons. All these are repeat cars that many of the older players have plenty of. So we're probably not going to end up pulling for PC cars every season in the coming season either. Uh, however, this one, I, again, it's a great car. I missed it. So I managed to pull three of them. I'm quite happy. Thank you for joining me for the key polls. Feel free to comment. Let me know your luck. How did it go? I know some of you guys swear by systems. Hey, more power to you. Definitely nothing wrong with anything, any way that you want to go ahead and pull these keys. We all just hope that we don't get nothing but one stars. If you like the videos, leave a like. Um, if you like my channel and my videos, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.